good morning good afternoon good evening whenever you are watching this welcome to tommy's carolina homestead this is going to be a quick update on where things are going and standing i know it's been a while since i've been on here so peace love and light welcome guys okay so let's start with the sweet potatoes since a few people have been asking my sweet potatoes are doing great still um, they're still I still have them in this tub I don't plan on transplanting them into my raised garden I think they can grow just fine in this uh, in this bin in this container and I also have my bell peppers in here as well and they are doing great and then these are just regular house plants my canna lilies are looking great. I even put some marigold in here as seeds and they are doing well. Over here we have a jalapenos. I planted, when did I plant these? I don't have the date on there. Wait, it was in May that I planted these. So they're doing well. I will probably transplant some of them. I did do some over near where I have my watermelon. So this is in front of my porch, a little area. It's shady, but it also gets sun too. And watermelon and cantaloupe need a lot of sun, but they need shade too. So I'm seeing some bugs, what is this? What is this? What is this? Okay. So the right here, this is my cantaloupe. No, this is my yeah, this is my cantaloupe. But then I also right up in here have the bush baby watermelon. And then I put some marigold right up in here. Also over here we have cantaloupe. Not all of the watermelon came up. I know I planted more than the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight seeds that I see, but, oh, that's two right there. It's just together. They're doing really well. I made like a little mound with the um, soil, so they're doing good. I also have this right here that I'm gonna put up, so if they want to climb, they can climb. I have no problem with that and then over here I put some of the jalapeno peppers and they're doing awesome and then on the other side of my porch oh it stormed so y'all forget let me pick this bag up okay so over here We have some okra that I planted from seed and look how well they're doing. I'm going to put something up there for them to climb on in a little bit. So now I'm about to go into the um, backyard where I have my raised beds. I finally got soil in the other one um, and I'll show you what's going on back there in my backyard. Okay, y'all, we are in my backyard, and I have, as you can see, step aside. The first one, I've already transplanted some corn and some collard greens. Uh, some okra seeds are also in that one. And in the second one, I have not transplanted anything yet. Um, well, I'm not going to transplant anything. Yeah, I'm just going to sow direct seeds into that one. Some more corn, pack of okra, some sunflowers. I'm even going to add some of these to the first um, raised bed, bed. And for my grandkids and my daughter, I'm going to do some pumpkin. And the reason I'm doing pumpkin now is my son, my 17 year old son, was like, Why are you doing pumpkin seeds right now? Because it takes 130 days. So if I start now, 
they should be ready to go come the end of October. And each one can have a pumpkin if all goes well. Did the soil, I made amendments to it um, by adding the black cow, some peat moss. I didn't do any, well I already have perlite in it, so I wasn't gonna add any extra perlite to it. Um, so let's get started. So these started as seeds and they are doing well when they get a little more bigger then I'll put them into the garden. And this is a sweet corn silver queen. Got to the point where she could not walk. Um, and being that she could not walk, she stopped eating. to take her to the vet and have her put down or that when these grow up like the okra are growing over there they will latch on to the corn you know what I'm saying but I think I'm just going to put these all on the side and then I'll put a little trellis here everything going on she has made the decision y'all to start gardening so granny karma if you come on over here welcome 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 i'm so glad that you're gardening as well and i hope things go great in your garden okay so now i have my pumpkin seeds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I only need four, but I'm going to plant all eight because you never know. So with the pumpkin seeds, I'm going to move down a little bit. So we're going to put four right here in this little corner and then four right here in this corner. I hope you can hear me. One flower seed. I forgot to bring my cucumbers out. I'll go back and get those right here in both of them. And they just like the sunflower seeds that you eat. Nothing different. Okay, now I have my cucumber. here and down at the other end that way when I put my trellis up once it starts growing hopefully it'll grow up on the trellis
down that direction. My squash, my green beans that I planted some seeds just a couple of days ago, and they've already um, germinated and came up. So I have high hopes for the other ones that I just planted in raised bed number two to come up as well. The cabbage, I don't know. It doesn't seem to be doing great. But we gonna see collard greens in the container. They're doing great. Squash down there. And okra. Corn. Right here is my pecan tree. I repotted it yesterday. It was in that small one right there that it came in and I should have been did it but I didn't but I noticed it was growing new uh, these are new when I got it it was just this but this is new and these right here are new so I said it's time to repot it in something bigger I didn't want to plant it in the ground because I know that we're moving next year when our lease is up here and I'm not sure if we are going to North Carolina or if we're gonna just find another place here in South Carolina. These are my strawberries right here. I put more hay down. Hay holds in the moisture, it helps retain the moisture um, in between your watering. So it, you can go a couple of days and not water it and it will be fine because the hay is also gonna break down. So if you were wondering why I have hay on that, that is why. And then my spinach is regrowing. I'm about to water them. I ate all of the spinach off of here. I gotta break these little pieces off. But I was eating them every morning. I would come outside, they were on my front porch, and I would come out, get me a handful like that, and just eat them. But these are regrowing and they look like they're seeding out. So I'm gonna let, if that's what it's doing, I'm gonna let it do that. So I'll have more seeds y'all. And I won't have to keep buying seeds and buying seeds. So if you can let things seed out, then do that. That's another way of saving while you're gardening. And then that's my mom's elephant ear from her house. Um, yeah. So that's it for the garden. I'm going to clean up my mess and y'all have a blessed day. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you have achieved that, you can go out and spread God's love. But spread it with distance. Wear your mask, wear your gloves. Until next time, I thank you for being here. It is so appreciated. To all of my new subscribers, I appreciate you so much. And to my returning, I appreciate you for coming back and putting up with me over here as I learn how to grow. And I hope that you start growing and we can all learn together. So, peace, love, and light. Thank you all so much for joining Tommy's Carolina Homestead. If you have not hit that red button, go ahead and hit that red button. Subscribe, like, and share. Comment down below. Give me some ideas. Um, just talk to me and I'll talk back to you. And I'll see you on the other side of tomorrow. Smooching.